Hi, Jackson back with you at Song Mentor. You know, if you take a great song and research the number of artists who have done covers of it, uh, the list is usually quite long, and sometimes not surprising. Today's song, If I Were a Carpenter, I did that kind of research. I wasn't surprised to find out Johnny Cash recorded it. Neil Diamond, no surprise. Joan Baez, no surprise. A few surprises. The Animals. The Four Tops. Pete Townsend. Leonard Nimoy. <laughs> but I guess a great song attracts artists of all kinds. Tim Harden wrote If I Were a Carpenter in the 60s, and Bobby Darren had a huge hit with it in 1966. Here's that folk classic, If I Were a Carpenter. All right, well, let's get started. Um, first things first, it, it, this is a three chord song, and the three chords you're gonna need are an open C, an open G, and then open D chord. And like most folk songs, we're gonna play around with some connectors. And kind of stuff. Um, in listening to some of those versions that I, I mentioned in the introduction, the one that I probably enjoyed the most was a version by Dan Fogelberg, the late Dan Fogelberg. And it's a, it's a beautiful version of this song. And one of the things I liked about it was that it, he put a capo on it and he did it uh, three half steps, a step and a half, a full step and a half higher. So what I'd like to do is uh, put the capo on the third fret and just show you what I mean. Uh, we're still going to play the C, the G, and the D chord. We're just going to play it capo at the third fret. And I think I think the tone of the guitar and the feel of the song is is uh, quite a bit sweeter, and uh, it's not that much harder to sing up there. So let's do that, and we'll come right back. Okay, we're back, and here's where we're at. Carpenter, you were a lady. Would you marry me anyway? Would you have my baby? I think that sounds pretty nice. So, um, again, everything we do here is going to be with capo on the third fret. If you decide at the end of the song, you know what? I just want to keep it simple. I want to play open strings. Uh, take the capo off. You're going to be playing it with the D, C, and the G, and it's going to sound great. I just feel a little stronger about this version in this key. Okay, so let's. Uh, we'll, what we'll do now is we'll go through, uh, we'll work on the intro first, a little intro for you, and then we'll go through a verse and chorus and figure things out. That's a little intro that I'm going to show you, and I've sort of taken that a little bit from the original Tim Harden version. It's just kind of a nice little easy picking thing. So the way we're going to start that is you're going to form two-thirds of a D chord. That is your first finger on the fifth fret of the third string, your second finger on the fifth fret of the first string, and leave that third finger ready to um, slip into the full D chord position right there but not at the beginning of this. We're going to pick down on four, down on three, and then a little hammer on, hammer on the third string, and then open second string, and then the full D chord. So. I'll show you what the right hand is doing. Okay, the second half of this intro is this little arpeggio based around the C chord. And that's just picking down on five, down on four, up on three in a C chord formation. Same thing, down, down, up, but this time I just, I move off Third finger leaves, second finger goes to the 
the fifth fret of the fifth string, and four and three are open, so. And then that sixth fret note on the sixth string, which is part of the G chord. Get the right hand. So putting the two together, and I would suggest that we probably play that twice, so the intro would go something like this. You were laying in. There's your intro. All right, let's take a look at how we're going to strum through this uh, this lovely folk ballad. We'll slow that down. gives you an idea of, of a nice, easy strumming pattern for this song. Alright, well let's do a nice free-flowing kind of playthrough of a couple of verses, and we'll go into the Save My Love part as well. I were a carpenter, you were a lady, would you marry me? Tinker were my tree, would you still find me? Carry the parts I'd made, following by me. Save my love for loneliness, save my love for sorrow. I'll give you my only name, give me your heart tomorrow. Well, let's do a playthrough, and uh, we'll use the, more or less the Bobby Darren arrangement here, which is a verse verse um, alternate part. I don't want to call it a chorus because it doesn't feel like a chorus to me. The Save My Love Through Loneliness part. Um, two more verses, and then a, little, a slight little instrumental interlude, and then a repeat of the first verse, uh, at which point the song ends. The Save My Love Through Loneliness only happens once. So here we go. If a tinker were my tree, would you still find me carrying the pots at me, following behind me? Save my love through loneliness, save my love through sorrows. I've given you my holiness, come give me your tomorrow. If I work my hands and work, would you still love me? Answer me, baby, yes I would. I put you above me. If I were a miller at a mill wheel grinding, would you miss your colored blouse, your soft shoes shining? If 
Two little bits for fine tuning today. One is the, um, you could change the ending up a little bit there. Would you marry me in a way? Would you have my baby? Would you marry me in a way? Would you have my baby? So that would just be a matter of repeating that last line. It gives it a different feel to the ending. And the second bit I wanted to show you is this uh, possibility of working the bass line. Into the picking. It's done like this. Using your pinky finger on the seventh fret. That's just a little bit of, of an extra thing there, but if you have some time and you want to work that into your picking pattern, it's a kind of a very cool thing to do. There you go, Tim Harden's Immortal, If I Were a Carpenter. We'll see you next time on Song Mentor.